Hello, Heritage United Methodist Church. My name is Matt Haran, and unless Dan Johnson wises up in the next couple months and realizes that he is crazy to leave there, I'm going to get to become the pastor at Heritage. So I am super excited about it, and I thought I'd make a quick video to just say hello and to maybe make a quick first impression. So I went with the fl flowers. I've got a couple questions from uh, people who are wondering what the new pastor might be like. Where are you from? I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Diehard fan of the Philadelphia 76ers, Flyers, the Phillies, and the Super Bowl champion, Philadelphia Eagles. What college did you attend? Matt Haran, pastor, the Florida State University. While I was there, I was a sports writer for the school paper. I was a member of the Phi Gamma Delta fraternity, Fiji for short. Went on to become an English teacher for a little while. Went back to school for my master's degree in educational administration. Thought I was going to be a principal someday. Just as I was finishing my master's degree, God called me to go into ministry. I would love for him to have told me that before I went to grad school for something else, but he and I worked it out and we're good now. Then I went on to Asbury Theological Seminary. The main campus is up in Wilmore, Kentucky. I visited there, it was freezing. So I went to the Orlando campus and finished seminary in 2007. I became the associate pastor at Hyde Park United Methodist in uh, the downtown Tampa area. I was there for six years before coming to my current appointment, Seminole Heights United Methodist, also in Tampa. I've been married to my wife, Susan, for 19 years. We met at Florida State, so I got two degrees and a cute wife out of it. So if you're looking for a college, that's the place for you. She is better at almost everything uh, than me. I also have two fantastic daughters, Jenna and Ashley. Both of them uh, play soccer, play instruments, and sing, and have all kinds of musical abilities. And they look forward to being a part of the ministries at Heritage. What are some of your hobbies? Well, I am the goalkeeper for my Tampa Bay club sport soccer team called the Lost Souls. But don't worry, it's S-O-L-E-S, -E like the bottom of your shoe. That's a lot of fun. I also have been collecting Pez dispensers for a while. That's kind of a random hobby, I know. I have a few favorites that I'd show you. In third place, I have a three-way tie. The Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Cowardly Lion from Wizard of Oz. Second place goes to Darth Vader. Finally, my favorite Pez dispenser, President Millard Fillmore. Why? I have no idea. I never met him. I'm not sure if it's a good likeness or not, but I'm sure the Pez people did well by Millard. Do you have musical abilities like your kids do? I play the radio pretty well. Are you an upgrade over our current pastor? <laughs> what are some areas where Dan Johnson, our current pastor, is better than you? Ways that Dan Johnson is better than me. It's a great question. Better than me, Dan Johnson. Well, he is taller than me. He has more hair. Ways that Dan Johnson is better than me. So let me get back to you on that. I'll leave a little space here and I can maybe edit something in when, I, when it comes to me. Okay. What features do you require in your office? Really, I can just think of one. Definitely need some space on the wall for my autographed Bobby Bowden picture. That was... That was beautiful! Beautiful! <sighs> what? Oh! Oh! Sorry. Well, Heritage United Methodists, if you're worried about the section that we missed there about uh, the ways that Dan Johnson's better than me, well, don't you worry. Because over the next few months and maybe even years, you're going to see all kinds of ways Dan Johnson's better than me. So don't worry about it. You haven't missed anything. But either way, we look forward to joining you guys soon. So thanks so much for having me as your pastor. And uh, we can't wait to get there and to get started on a ministry journey together. So take care. God bless. And we'll see you very, very soon.